Okay, folks. Well, this is the first for me. I just got something uh, from FedEx all the way from China and shipped to me. It's something from Small Rig. So we're going to open it up. This will be my first unboxing. Well, technically, I've unboxed a lot of things, but it's my first unboxing that I'm actually going to unbox and film and see if it's worthwhile, if it's worthwhile for me to publish it or not. So I decided to order from Small Rig their rig for the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max. And it took about two weeks. Came all the way from China. Just got here today. So let's open it up. I'll let it warm up a bit before I open it up. Make sure there's a battery in here. So I usually do that with battery stuff. Let's see, get my knife here, not cut myself. All right. So, well, yeah, it's all nice. Nice to put it out here. Let's see it out. All right, so this is what we have the small rig from Brandon Lee. This is branded, I guess, co marketing with Brandon Lee. Maybe you've seen the video on YouTube, it's kind of cool. Mobile video kit for iPhone 15 Pro Max co design edition. Actual product may vary due to product enhancement. Okay, good. I hope it's not enhanced. This surprised me a little bit that it came all the way from China. Um, I did order it on their German webpage, which was kind of German, a little bit funky in some ways, but I thought it would be coming from Germany, but no, it was manufactured and uh, directly shipped from China to me here in Munich, Germany. So now we're going to open this sucker up and see what's going on in here. I don't like packaging, that's for sure. So, we take like that. We've got this, so now we've got a little thing here to pull open, I guess. We'll see what happens if we pull on it. Nothing? Oh, sure not, because it's taped. No. Why is it taped somewhere? Or do we push on it? Well, this is fun. I'm not that weak. Or does it open some other way? Okay. Not very intuitive. Uh, it opens a different way. Hello and welcome. We're thrilled to have you join us in the exciting journey. Okay, lovely. I'll read that later, I'm sure. You can also read it if you want. That's what you get on the top. Very nice. Ooh, look. Mastery within reach. And I guess that's Brandon Lee. Oh, I guess you can see him here as well. There he is. You've seen this. I'm probably, you've probably seen this on YouTube, his video. All right, so what do we got here? Looks like we've got the case itself. Wow. Nice. Very nice build quality. Feels solid. All right, I guess you just open it here. Let's try that. Oh, and then we take our cheap little camera phone and we slide it in. Ooh, like it was made for it. Very nice. Okay, that was pretty intuitive. Worked pretty good here. Goes in much like that. What else do we got here then? All right, ooh, it comes with a nice little bag. I like bags. Very nice. With a pouch within the pouch. That's also high. That's high quality. Nice. Probably for other bits here that we're going to get to in a minute. All right. So we've got a nice bag. We've got a handle here that does nothing. All right. Looks like, oops, we'll get to this in a minute. I believe this is for the filter and a little bag, I guess, also for the filter. And there seems to be a, a screw inside there. So that's good to know as well. All right, we've got the uh, variable uh, ND filter here as well. We'll take a look at that later. A nice little cleaning cloth. We like that. Oh, some instructions on quick release hand guide, 52 millimeter attachable filter kit, and of course, instructions on all this good stuff, which I'll, I will read. I like to read stuff, so that's all on that side. All righty, we'll take all that out. And then we've got this side here. Oh, now we've got the two grips. So we've, they're packaged separately. So we'll open one at a time, see what this looks like. So here we go. Again, some nice wrapping for something here. And let's just take out the grip if I can. And it's not going to come out that end, it looks like. We'll try the other end. Ooh, wow. Really nice. This is with the button, so I believe this is the Bluetooth controller. It's got a little tab here. I guess these bits here are going to be the the parts we're going to use to screw it on to. Alrighty, yes, yes, yes. So we 
we've got some parts we're going to have to put together here, which looks like I'm going to have to read some instructions before I do that. So we'll do that. All right. So we've got one grip. I don't think you can all see that. Still good. With the Bluetooth. And then we've got the other side. Same kind of bits here. We've got the little parts that we can put together. I don't know if this is going to help. All right. So, and another grip here. This was without the Bluetooth, but again, wow, man, the quality here is really nice. It feels really nice, solid, pretty heavy, which is good because I like heavy stuff. Right, so it looks like I'm going to have to read some instructions on how to put this together. I kind of know from watching the video what I've seen so far what it's supposed to do. But I guess it'd be better if I actually read it and make sure I understand it. So, okay, so it's good that you read instructions. At least I like to read instructions. So now I know how to put this stuff together. So we've got um, inside the grip, we've got a little uh, button here to push that it opens underneath grips. And then we've got a small Allen wrench or imbus if you're German, imbus wrench, which you need to undo these two screws here. So we'll undo the screws. Got a little backing plate there, which makes sense because you don't want the screw heads to go to directly on the aluminum on the grip. So we'll take this apart. And then we have a choice. We can either have it normal in the vertical message, or we could have it, I suppose we could turn it this way. Wow, there we go. So we could have either as a grip as we hold from above, an above grip, like this, or we put it just on the side as a normal side grip, so we hold it. That's what I want to try first. Here's the fun part, is getting all these bits, <laughs> getting the bits to do what you want. So I'm a little bit blind, with even with my glasses on, to get these things to do what I want. But I will eventually. So there, we got that. I like to put the screws in first, so they stay there. All right, we're good. And then I line up the this part underneath. At least I try to. And once it's lined up, then I start to, then I'll, I'll try to get the screws in. There we go. That feels good. And I'll just baby it. Also feels good. We'll put it up there. I don't really know the positioning yet. This is the first time I've done this. So now we've got the grip in the vertical position. I guess we can put the Allen wrench back because that's where we want to keep it all the time because we're good. We don't like losing tools. And now we can position it on the camera frame which we can see here, we've got the two holes here for the little thing. So we open these things up here, push it in there, and then we've got the grip, the nice camera grip here. All right, and of course, there's other positions for it as well. There's one up here on the top. Again, we, if we turn the grip 90 degrees, we can use it as a different holding. So we still have it here. We can hold it as a horizontal. And also here we have as well, and underneath. So we've got four positions around the camera frame where we can use a grip. Of course, we have two grips, so I'll do put the other grip together and see how that works. But that's uh, basically how the grip works. All right, so now we've got the second grip on. Um, I did notice you really need to tighten the bolts down a bit. I didn't put the screws in too tight, and there's a little bit of play between them, but now I've tightened them up, and this is really solid. It feels really good. So the next bit I was interested in is how does this shutter button work? So I, it's on a uh, flash shoe. You can take it off. Flash shoe's nice. Um, there we go. It's kind of interesting. I thought it would be rechargeable, but looking at the instructions, it's got a um, it's got a CR2032 uh, three volt battery in it. So I guess when it goes out, you're gonna have to take out these little tiny screws. There's four little screws. Take it out and replace it. I guess this little tab is what you need to remove for it to work. So and then the instructions say you press the button for two seconds. And then it should start blinking to pair. So I guess it wants to pair. So then we'll go on my telephone here and we're going to pair it up somehow with Bluetooth. Okay. I've got a few things on here. Small rig WR-03. Pair and request. Okay. That seems pretty simple. It's connected. All right, so then we put it back in the uh, shoe here. I guess there's no front or back. I guess if you want to see it, maybe you want to back, back towards you. No, it actually doesn't go that way, does it? Okay. Sideley. 
Okay, on the side. All right, so then we go to the camera. Let's just make a photo. So, okay, that was pretty simple. It just does what you want. All right, video, same thing. All right, pretty straightforward. And I guess to turn it off, Okay, same thing. You just press it for two seconds, starts the blink. Or does that turn it off? Turning off, press the button for two seconds. We'll be on for two seconds, flash two times, then turn off. Okay. Because you don't want it always attached to it. It's not connected now. All right, so that's how that all works. Pretty straightforward. Very cool. All right, so now we're going to take a look at how the um, small rig M mount filter system works. So it comes with this ring here for the uh, to hold the filter. Turn it over, you can see on the round bit there are some little wings there. You can see those where that works. So on the holder itself, we can see where we line up little wings here on the, um, the filter holder. So we basically try to line those up if I can. And then you twist it into place once it's ready to go. So now it's twisted in. Again, nice and solid. Feels really good. It's in there right now. Then we get out the ND, the neutral density filter, the variable filter from ND2 to 32, so five full stops. And we take a look at it. It's kind of cool because it just kind of snaps right in. It's magnetic, snaps in. Then you twist it until it clicks into place. So let's do this. I'll twist it a little bit more so you can see. Um, exactly. So again, we've got uh, the variable filter. So it goes from ND2 to 32. So five full stops. You can see what changes here. Very nice. Um, and it's kind of very cool where it snaps right into place. So it also says on the ring it's a 52 millimeter, um, 52 millimeter filter. So I figured, oh, 52 millimeter means I could use, uh, I have a 52 millimeter skylight filter here. I can maybe use it here. Well, this is bigger than 52, so not on the ND filter itself, but maybe here on the mount from small rig. Again, it fits, but it's not a standard mount. So it's not using the standard screw here. It's basically, as you can see, the magnets here. It's a magnetic mount for preparatory, I suppose, small rig filters, or maybe someone else will make filters for it. So we'll see what comes out for it. So this filter, the 52 millimeter, is 52 millimeters is the diameter of the filter, but it's really a priority system with, with the magnets. Again, snap, clicks right in. And it's a variable filter, which just makes it very cool. Um, one of the reasons I purchased this whole rig was I was gonna do, some, I'm working on a project with my brother-in-law. We're working on um, filming some monuments around Munich, and he's gonna be doing the music. We'll be working together on collaborating on a little project uh, to show some stuff around Munich. So hopefully, Watch this space. There may be some stuff that we'll be publishing on YouTube uh, uh, um, and his channel as well using the free rig and, and setup. All right, folks. Well, that's all for now. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer everything I can. And again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I think we've discovered now, or at least all the uh, mystery with the replacement screws. There's three that come with uh, the kit. Three screws. I was trying to figure out what are they for, what looks like. I figured it out. This tiny little screw here is for the mount here, for the filter mount. There's a single screw here. You can just see this screw fits in there. So mystery solved. Um, and then I did take a minute to take out the four screws here for the um, shutter, the Bluetooth shutter release. The four screws you take out here, and then you've got, as I said before, the uh, CR2032 battery, which just pops in there. So it's pretty simple. Again, not rechargeable. I'm not a big fan of non-rechargeable, but I guess this thing will last a while, so it's not a big deal. But again, um, yeah, I'm more of a rechargeable kind of guy. So it goes back in there, and you put screws in, and once you put the screws in, the light will blink, I think. If it's working, it's working. So, back and working again.